Fancy. Quick kick. You're late. Oh, boy. Landmine. I'll disarm it. Leave it, Bazooka. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, okay. Hey, everyone. I'm Rob, and this is Destro's Desk. Today, we are going to take a close look at one of the earlier releases from the G.I. Joe Classified series. This is none other than David L. Katzenbogen, otherwise known as Bazooka. Bazooka's first action figure goes back to the class of 1985, where he first appeared in the G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure toy line. What a great figure he was. I want to take a look at his figure and his file card. He is a missile specialist. His secondary military specialty is he's a tank driver. Also, Bazooka is wearing that signature number 14 football jersey, which Ron Rudat gave Bazooka the number 14 jersey in honor of the career Patriots QB, Steve Grogan. All right, as we take a look at the box, this is a little bit older figure. This is number uh, 62 in the series. Um, this is where they stopped with the plastic packaging with the window. Uh, this is their first attempt at the uh, windowless box. Um, it's not bad. Uh, the art, the artwork, I'm not going to say it's bad or anything. It's a great, it's great artwork. I just don't think it's uh, screams GI Joe. Um, but as you can see on the front, we do have some new artwork, and it does look pretty good. Um, down on the side here, we've got a look at the figure, um, what you're getting in the box there, a small picture. Uh, as you can see, the GI Joe David L. Katzenbergen. That's otherwise known as Bazooka. Again, we have that art on the side of the box. On the back, it's uh, familiar with the new style, um, showing the height of the figure. Um, stands at 6.39 inches tall. Uh, you can see there is the figure with the accessories. We've got a helmet, uh, his signature backpack, which will hold his missiles for his bazooka. So that's about it for, for old bazooka. We do have some of the symbols down here for uh, that we can investigate and see um, what those mean. We do have the symbols on the side of the box. Again, he's number 62. But for now, let's get old bazooka out of the box and let's take a much closer look. Cut the tape on the bottom. That anymore all right as you see in this little bit older uh, packaging in the new style we have a uh, other artwork picture in the background of the figure but uh, this is just the standard uh, with the GI Joe uh, star logo in the back we also have the accessories pack again he's number 62 in the series his name's on there punch in the secret code and we will get this open up and we will see those accessories not as many uh, accessories with bazooka it's uh, more of a simple figure uh, not a lot going on All right, there are the accessories laid out. We'll take a closer look at those in a minute. But first, we will get the old bazooka out of his cardboard coffin here. And we'll have a better look. Now we'll take a look at uh, bazooka, the action figure. Uh, starting out with the head, we have got a great head sculpt there. That big old signature black mustache, black hair. He's even got that part in the side of his hair which he obviously likes to brush over, comb over. Um, this guy is pretty muscular. He's got a, got a pretty big muscular neck. Uh, the head sculpt on there looks great. Uh, paint apps look pretty good. Um, 
the eyes look like they're uh, pointing in the right direction so that's good and so as you can see he's got the New England Patriots number 14 uh, football jersey that he wears this is what he was seen in uh, through most of GI Joe other than his uh, uh, Tiger Force uh, character that uh, has it was instead of the red it was a white and we'll actually take a look at that comparison to that figure uh, at the end of this video um, pretty standard same uh, articulation uh, for his upper body his uh, shoulders arms go straight out as they usually do we've got all the uh, bicep movements we've got uh, looks like we got pinless elbows which is good uh, moving down we have a uh, utility belt he's wearing with a nice uh, paint app on there for the silver buckle uh, the rest of it is just again molded in that uh, uh, green color no paint on the belt um, and moving down we have pretty standard uh, legs on this guy uh, military green uh, pants he's got a few pockets around it for uh, whatever he needs to carry on him uh, we have this this version has uh, actually has pins uh, in for the knees um, looks like they move not too bad but they are a little stiff as we usually see but uh, stiff joints is better than loose so that's definitely uh, definitely a positive there for this guy uh, boots again looks like a lot of these figures um, all kind of have their own style of boots they're their own molds uh, no paint apps on these boots uh, you can see there are a couple buckles that go across and that's about it for that so there's uh, we have a, a hole in the back for his backpack but overall uh, first look at old uh, bazooka here with without his accessories um, looks really good I really like the head sculpt everything looks good on the body and that uh, nice bright red football jersey and we will take a closer look at these accessories first off the most important piece we have is bazooka look at that bad boy Lots of detail on there. The missiles will sit inside. This piece uh, comes off on the back here. You can, I guess, uh, maybe store a missile in there or two. Oh, that's it for that. Uh, we have his backpack. This was molded in the olive drab military uh, green color. No paint apps on there at all. And then we have four of the missiles, rockets for his bazooka. We've got two that are just uh, the same color as everything else, the bazooka and the backpack, molded in that uh, same color plastic. They did put... Uh, couple apps on these two we have this one here that's got the uh, kind of caution looking uh, end on it so that's pretty neat that uh, they put some detail on one of the missiles and this one has got the um, mouth and eye that you would uh, sometimes see on um, some of the old military Warplanes, uh, maybe the Dragonfly helicopter, um, but you usually uh, see this, especially on one of my favorite uh, military planes, the uh, old A-10 Warthog or Thunderbolt. But, so that looks really good. Nice to see they put that on there. And we have just his uh, helmet left. So pretty standard military style helmet again this one looks like it is uh, has been painted um, the inside is the same uh, mold color but the uh, outside is in a that mil dark military green with a band black band uh, 
going around it and you can see that it has the uh, chin strap and it is unbuckled so that will just hang down nicely when he's got it on so let's get old bazooka outfitted with all his accessories and we'll see how he looks all right first we will take that helmet of his that uh, he's usually always seen wearing and we'll pop that on his head uh, for a perfect fit that looks great the buckles hanging out to the side might want to do that up if he's in combat but uh, otherwise I think he just wears that undone um, so we have his backpack here and it has four compartments in it for his uh, missile rockets and these I believe you can put in no oh, they have to go down put this on his back there's a nice long peg there sometimes these longer pegs don't want to stay in so hopefully that uh, doesn't wiggle its way out there's the backpack on bazooka holding all his missiles looks like it's gonna be on there okay so that looks pretty good just like that ready for action and we will get his bazooka in his hand sometimes a little stiff first time getting that trigger finger in there but we got her in there So there you go. So let me know what you guys think. This uh, this version of Bazooka looks pretty good. I really like him. Um, I'm waiting to uh, get him out of the box. So I thought this would be a good time. Um, we also can have a look at the comparison. So this is the more common Bazooka, again, with that red style jersey. And we also have here the Tiger Force Bazooka, which is relatively the same, same mold. Basically, it's just a uh, different paint apps on them. Obviously, a different uh, color of the jersey. Um, you can see he does have the Tiger Stripes on his pants for the Tiger Force uh, group of the G.I. Joe clan. Um, he's also, this one, he's got brownish uh, color boots. So again, the same, just to paint. The paint apps are different, um, but it's the same mold. The head sculpt's the same. One thing I did notice also, there's um, the skin tone color that they used for um, this bazooka is a little bit darker skin than, uh, than the Tiger Force bazooka. But other than that, they are pretty much identical. So um, that's about it guys. Uh, also, I want to really sincerely thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel. I have gone past 200 and now we are in uh, looking for 300. Uh, we are well on our way, we've passed 200. So guys, I wanna thank everybody sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's really helped motivate me to keep going. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad everybody's enjoying these videos. I enjoy making them so thanks very much and if you're new to seeing this video please hit that subscribe button um, hit the like if you like what you saw and definitely hit the bell because when I have a new video come out you guys will be notified right away we are gonna take a look at some older uh, classified figures in the upcoming videos until we see a new wave come out um, and if there's anything anybody wants to see, if I haven't unboxed it yet, let me know. I do have a request for a barbecue. So my next video will be of the barbecue figure. So um, again, guys, thanks very much for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. 
and I will put the uh, bazooka here in a three uh, or in a uh, 360 spin, and uh, we can have a good look at both these figures all ready for combat. So again, thanks guys, and I will talk to you soon.